let's use Bio Savar law to derive the magnetic field produced by a current loop. First, imagine a current loop with an arbitrary or random shape. This current loop sits on the xy plane and it has a current that flows in this direction as what is shown in the figure. To make calculations easier, let's form this loop into a perfectly circular loop and the current constantly runs in this manner. So this loop is centered at the origin and has a radius A. So let's focus on the magnetic field at point P that is located on the z-axis. If we consider an infinitesimal current DL, for example this one, its distance from point P is R. The direction from DL to point P is R hat. Notice that dl here is a vector. The direction of dl depends on the direction of the current. So apparently for this instance of dl, its direction is almost similar to negative x hat since this is x hat. So this dl here has a direction of negative x hat. If you use the second right hand rule, dl cross r hat results to this direction of magnetic field. So if you forgot the second right hand rule, I created a video about the first right hand rule and second right hand rule. The link is in the description box below, so please watch that video. Apparently, this dB can be broken down into components. One component is parallel to the z-axis. Let's call that dB sub z. And its other component is perpendicular with the z-axis. So let's name this component as dB sub y. Now because of symmetry, we know that all components of dB that is perpendicular with the z-axis will cancel out when we integrate all the contributions of this circular loop. Hence, the only component that matters is dB sub z. So to calculate dB sub z, this vector is actually equal to this b sub z z hat. Notice that in this triangle, if this is the hypotenuse of the triangle and if this is theta, Notice that this side of the triangle is obviously z and this one is a. So if this is theta, then using similar triangles, this is also theta. We are now in a position to derive the magnetic field. If I try to write the complete equation for this infinitesimal element of magnetic field due to this infinitesimal current element dl, this is actually equal to a component perpendicular to the z-axis which we name as db sub y y hat and a component that is along the z-axis which is db sub z z hat. And as I pointed out earlier, this is zero because of symmetry. Notice that if we have a db sub y here, if I integrate this part, then there will be another db sub y here that cancels both of these components. So again, by symmetry, this is zero. The only relevant magnetic field in our case is the magnetic field along the z component because this is the only component that will be retained after calculating the contributions from the entire loop. Eventually, I'll have db equals db sub z z hat. So I'll integrate both sides to get vector b equals b sub z z hat. So based on the figure, db sub z is equal to this magnitude times cosine theta. So using the Bio Savar law, this db is equal to mu naught over 4 pi i dl times 1 over r squared. But based on the figure, db is equal to mu naught over 4 pi. Assuming that current is constant all throughout the loop, I'll have i and then dl. And our r squared, based on this triangle, is z squared plus a squared. So in addition, I need an expression for cosine theta. And since this is theta and this is theta, therefore cosine theta equals... If I just focus on this giant triangle, I have given values for this side and this side. So applying cosine theta, cosine theta is actually adjacent which is A over hypotenuse which is square root of z squared plus a squared. So to get db sub z, I multiply db and cosine theta. 
mu naught i over 4 pi a dl over z squared plus a squared raised to 3 halves. Now I'll integrate both sides to get all the contributions from each infinitesimal current element. I'll be able to get the total contribution along the z-axis, which is the only relevant component of the magnetic field, equals, this is constant, 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 and constant based on the figure. So no matter what element you choose, the value of each variable in these terms are constant. So I'll put it outside the integral sign. So I'll end up with mu naught i a over 4 pi z squared plus a squared raised to 3 halves integral of dl. So apparently, the integral of dl is the entire length of the loop. And based on this figure, this is equal to 2 pi a. So I'll end up with mu naught i a 4 pi z squared plus a squared raised to 3 halves times 2 pi a. Pi here cancels out and 2 becomes 1 and 4 becomes 2. So b sub z equals mu naught i a squared over 2 times z squared plus a squared raised to 3 halves. From this expression, this is actually the total magnetic field for the entire current loop. So in vector form, I'll just copy this magnitude. And its direction is along the z hat. In the figure, I have only one current loop. But for example, this is my imaginary coordinate axis. If I have n number, n number of circular loops but they are tightly spaced so that they are almost equidistant at point p then using superposition principle their magnetic field contribution is actually additive therefore if i have n circular current loops i'll just literally multiply this expression with n here if you have more than one circular loop otherwise if you have one circular loop then n equals one and then i'll end up with this expression B equals mu naught n i a squared over 2 times z squared plus a squared raised to 3 halves z hat. And this is our expression for magnetic field on the axis of n circular loops. Going back in this expression, notice that at the center of the origin here, the center of the origin, this implies z equals 0. The value of z at the origin is obviously 0. At the center of the current loop, we have z equals 0. And if I try to plug this z equals 0 here, I'll end up with magnetic field equals mu naught ni over 2a. So this is our expression for the magnetic field at the center of n circular loops. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and hit the notification bell button for awesome updates. Thank you for watching!